assalamu alaikum students so as as we have already done some practice on the word shock so this ppt actually i found it's very good uh, and to give you more detailed information about the word shock i have taken uh, this uh, presentation from the tutorial of mr james so i say thanks to mr james uh, in my presentation here in my recording so i'll go ahead so uh, what we will be covering uh, in today's lecture uh, we already know what word shark is so we'll be just uh, refreshing our uh, what we have learned already what is word shark how we can capture the packets how to analyze the packets and how to filter the packets and uh, uh, how to save and manipulate the packets okay and then uh, how to I mean uh, do the packet static statics okay and then how to colorize the specific uh, packet so this is all interesting we are going to see this is outline of this one uh, so this is what the wire shark actually used for these are the properties of the wire shark you can do deep inspection of thousands of the protocols okay and you can capture live as well as offline analysis and there are three standard pen at the packet browser okay so you can use any uh, all okay you can understand all these how we can use and then we can uh, easily capture uh, the network data using any of these browsers given so we can use gui okay we can use tty mode or we can use t shark utility any of the mode uh, is available to you you can use okay uh, it is one of the most uh, powerful two means uh, display filter in industries nowadays if you have a very good hand on experience with the wire shark believe me you will get a good job so this is very handy tool it's very handy it comes when the voice over ip analysis is a wonderful job does when it comes the voice over ip so if you uh, we will be trying to do it but for this we need actually more uh, chats going on so okay and then uh, the live data can be read from a different interfaces okay so in your computer you do are not just going to have just one interface which is actually ethernet you are going to capture the packet you can capture packet from number of different interfaces you can get cap, uh, capture the packet from the ethernet you can capture the packet from this wireless uh, i e a to 2.11 a b c whatever you are using that okay you can use from these mentioned all interfaces okay ppp and atm bluetooth usb token ring frame relay fddi whatever the interface you are using so it can uh, capture the packet from different interfaces so it's a very handy tool okay so you can use the coloring rules to apply to the packets for quick listing or for intuitive analysis so now why this color is actually used is suppose you are interested in a particular protocol okay you are not interested in a different protocol or you are interested in particular type of packets okay so you just go and color them according to your own understanding okay so according to your suppose you want to see the packets tcp packets or http packets okay you go and color them according to your own understanding and then you are only interested on those packets which are colored by so there could be thousands of protocols running so you are not going to analyze all those protocols like the live stream is going on so you can color them what you are interested in so this coloring scheme is really very handy okay you can present the output uh, using xml postscript okay uh, csv or plain text you can export them to okay so you can use any of these out means uh, for presenting your reports okay to your organization so you can use this this all so this is all we had is uh, what is actually wire shot by defect it is a packet analyzer okay so it's a packet analyzer it's a open source it's multi platform it can be used for the windows linux os x uh, solaris you can use uh, free bsd you can use for the net bsd and other all different platform you can use this uh, wired shark it's very uh, it's ex easily extendable okay 
we can see uh, updated versions are coming as we can see the previously it was known as a ethereal so it's from the large developing group okay so it's very handy tool uh, it's good it's open source and it is multi-platform independent and one thing more whenever you're going to download the, this uh, uh, wireshark it understands what operating system you are in so the first option it will give you a you should be downloading that option that is actually so that suits your operating system so if you're using windows 32 bit you will see the uh, wireshark with the windows 32 bit will be active for you if you're using windows uh, 64 bit okay you can see the wireshark is with the windows 64 bit is active for you so uh, it's, it's very handy when you're downloading it as well so you don't need to worry what you are so the first option it gives you it gives you according to your operating system where you are sitting and downloading your wireshark i hope it is clear so we'll go ahead and see the properties of wireshark what the properties of wireshark are it can do deep inspection of thousands of protocols okay it's not just one protocol it can do deep inspection of all protocols used on the internet okay it can capture live as well as offline uh, analysis so you can go live live streaming is going on live data is going on you can capture them you can analyze them and not like that but you can just stop your wireshark you can you are interested in a particular packet you just stop your wireshark open the packet analyze the packet what is in this packet actually going on it's very handy so you can do live as well as offline analysis there are three standard pan uh, for the packet browser so we'll be going we'll see what these three standard pans are okay and it can be it can capture network data using the browsers okay such as you can use the gui okay you can use the tty dot mode okay you can use the t shark utility so mostly what we will be go going through will be using the gui mode in our presentation okay it's one of the most powerful tool okay display in the industries nowadays i've already told you okay it's very good for the uh, voice over ip okay and you can use it can be used for any of the interfaces okay if you have the ethernet interface you can uh, capture the data okay live data if you have the wireless 802.11 you can capture the data you if you have point to point protocol you can capture the data if you have PPT, uh, sorry, ATM, you can capture the data from. So any of the interfaces actually connected to your computer, okay, you can capture the data, even the Bluetooth, even the USB, okay. So all interfaces, it captures the data. You need to select which interface you are actually interested in. Or you can select all interfaces, okay. So options are there. So you can use this coloring, okay. The coloring scheme is good, I've already told you. So you can just color the packet you are interested in. So here is actually the interface. We go into the interface and then this is uh, we have the three pens available. So the first window, actually this one is known as a packet list window. Okay, here we have number of packets available. Okay, packet list window. And then if we select any of the packets, we go into the uh, packet details uh, window. Okay, this frame. So this actually frame, it tells us all about the packet we have selected. So it starts from the frame and then it goes for the, it goes in the data link layer, okay, from then it goes into the network layer and then it goes to the transport layer, okay, and then it goes into the port number in, and uh, this is, uh, means uh, port numbers from where the destination port number, source port number, okay, so this is the detail of the packet, okay, so this is here we select the packet and this is here we have the details of the packet and then this is the packet bytes how many bytes the packet is having so i'll just just jump into my wireshark from switch it into from here to my wireshark and i'm in my wireshark okay so the, here actually if i click this packet okay and then this is the detail window this detail window tells me about all about this packet okay so if i just zoom it out just to make you understand now you can see this uh, packet analysis okay so here i have selected uh, this packet suppose okay and i go into this packet first i see 
it tells me the frame okay we have already learned this thing in our theory okay the data in the data link layer is known as a frame then it comes into the our uh, network layer okay where we have the ip address okay and then we have this so this is our uh, data link layer and here we have the ip okay source and destination and then we have the transmission control protocol and then we have this all okay and then we have the security layer okay so we can use the security use okay top level security security is used for this packet okay so if i just go into this detail this frame gives you all information about the frame okay and how the frame is encapsulated what is the id of okay it is and time of the arrival okay this is what i'm doing here time of the arrival standard time shift time of the packet echo of the packet okay all information with respect to into inside the frame okay even the coloring of the rule coloring rules you can see so i just close this uh, frame and i just go into my uh, ethernet it tells me that uh, means destination and, and a source okay it gives you the mac addresses okay the destination mac address in the source mac address uh, uh, means uh, address so if i just go into the ip okay it's using the ip version okay this is my source ip address this is my destination ip address and this is all detailed the version i'm using the bytes i'm using the different services and fields i'm using okay the flag is there or not fragmentation is there or not okay so fragmentation is our time to live it will be there okay and type of the protocol be using the tcp okay on this header checksums are actually they are disabled okay this is where the checksum status unverified this is the source who's sending this is the destination is receiving so this is our ip datagram okay so once we close ip datagram we can go into the transport layer protocol that is our tcp okay if you just see we am just selecting the tcp okay transport layer protocol so in the tcp we can see the port number we are using the destination port number we are using the stream index okay and here we can use the acknowledgement number as we have seen we were talking about tcp using being a reliable protocol so here we can see uh, the acknowledgement is coming if you remember our topic about the uh, rdt that is reliable data transfer okay where we were talking about the acknowledgement and then we talked about go back n and we talked about uh, selective repeat okay if you remember that so this is actually acknowledgement is coming from those all okay this is the detail of any packet you go into okay these are the bytes okay not human readable okay so this is our pens are so here we were we are talking about this we have given the detail of this uh, in our packet tracer so in this packet tracer actually the interface may be with different interface i'm using this is the bit old version okay mom using the latest version so may not be exactly the same but options will be available in there so if you go into the option and then you go into the interfaces you may get list of the interfaces okay in the list of the interfaces you can select any interface and then you can say a start so the same thing i'll do in my packet in my wireshark okay i go into my this uh, this icon this is my uh, means uh, capture option okay and click my capture option okay in this capture option i have the options available okay what ethernet what interface actually i'm using to capture the data okay so i can manage my interface whatever i'm interested in i can just check in in and whatever i'm not interested in i just check them out okay i don't need don't need this don't need this okay don't need this don't need this okay so don't need this don't need this okay then i say start okay start without doing that one fine so let it start so we can just select the interface and then we can use the start and here actually you started in bringing the data to me fine so i can use any of the in, uh, interfaces i have selected the interface i have started so it's started telling me all the uh, data is being captured
now here in the option again packet capture option what we can see we can have the option we can filter the packet okay the filter option is exactly given on the browser okay in front and then you have the multiple uh, file okay then you can select the time okay when to stop okay after how much time it should start this actually says that how much uh, you want to display okay options of the display you want to update all the list of the packet in real time or automatically scrolling live packet screaming so you can see this display is appearing so you can hide the capture dialog box okay so you can use the name resolution here you can use the mac address name resolution you can enable the network name resolution your dns okay you can enable the transport name resolution so you again go into the option so i we i may not have the i told you the same interface so i'll go into my this one and i go into my option i should stop it okay and then i go into my option okay here actually the output i told you how much display you need okay after how much time you want to stop it okay it tells you uh, after time after how much time you're going to stop it okay and then actually you need a window actually this was our display window okay display option so in display option what you want okay automatically scrolling if you this you see when it's running it's scrolling automatically so you can just uh, de-scroll it and the auto means automated it will not be scrolling automatically you will be scrolling by you by by your hand and this is the naming resolution the mac address what we have seen in our this presentation naming resolution this is our display option okay and uh, here we have the packet size and the packet ethernet so we can go into our option so we can give over here in the output okay what could be the packet size okay and in the input we have already given the interface so in the output what we need is given us and the packet size buffer size we have already given so this is actually our uh, buffer size so you can see the buffer sizes here fine okay i hope uh, everything we in this we have covered in our packet so uh, sorry so here actually it says the interface so i'm not using the wired uh, wireless interface this ppt is using the wireless interface so that is 802.11 wireless lan okay so it if, when it is a wireless lan you need to understand the receive signal strength indicator okay indication so here is the receive signal strength okay this shows how much uh, signals you are receiving you mostly see in your wi-fi how many signals you are receiving okay interface detail okay so you can go into the interface detail i've already told you you go into that one and you can go into the uh, interface detail okay and this one and interface detail we have given how many interface we have i've just clicked all off okay so i can manage the interfaces okay it says uh, different interface i've just clicked off in front of you I just want to close it and I just go into my PPT and this is where you are. So now we are going to analyze the packet. I have already done the analysis. So we, I will just not go there and explain you here. So here is the packet list and here is the packet detail panel. Okay. So we go into the packet, uh, I mean this packet, okay. This packet we have selected and we come into the detail of the packet version, what we are using, the header, what we are using, okay the length of the packet is what okay the identification number of the packet is what is the fragmentation on and off okay and if it is a header checksum is correct so in my packet when i said there was no header checksum used okay the source address and destination address is given here okay so we can go into the uh, tcp and the transmission control protocol and then this was the ip protocol and then we can see we have already seen uh, how they look like so this is a bit more detail this is what we have not done there so here actually you can see you can select any tcp packet so it says select one tcp packet and we know tcp does the handshaking okay so once the tcp sends the send request so you can see here it is a send request is sent okay where my mouse is okay so this send request goes to the 
uh, destination this is the source okay source is sending to this destination this is tcp destination sending a send request okay once the send request is received then it receives an acknowledgement from the destination now you can see this was the destination now this destination becomes the source okay and the source becomes the destination and as we can go here we can see the sync has been acknowledged the acknowledgement is coming back once the acknowledgement comes back again the source becomes source and destination becomes destination tcp and then the acknowledgement is sent with the window so at the, the acknowledgement is so we mostly call it in tcp is a protocol where we have three way handshaking we says send sync sync is received then we said an acknowledgement then we start transmission okay i hope it is clear so we can even do this uh, flow graph of our packet okay we can go into the statics okay and then we go go into the flow graph and then we can uh, have the all packets flow graph or a particular displayed packet flow graph we can choose uh, the flow type if we have general flow type or we just want to have the tcp flow type you want to have a standard source and destination address or you just want network and destination address so it's here are the options in the you can give so i go into my packet tracer and i go into the statics okay and then i go into the flow graph okay in the flow graph actually once i even go here once i go here and say okay i okay i come into this frame okay so this uh, analysis comes where we have already seen how the sync is done and received here all is given so in my pick tracer it actually showing me all details okay here it is uh, the first sync is sent okay and then received the data has been developed okay this is the source and destinations who is sending is saying who is this one okay and who is receiving this all details so you can select the details from here all flow or you just need the tcp flow so this is your tcp flow and this is your all flow okay all data flow so you can use any of the option given to you okay and then you can use any address or all network address okay so as you can see the comments are coming they are different so these are just uh, the reports okay you can use the statistical analysis okay this is how we went into and then we can uh, even go further okay we can select any tcp and then right click the mouse and go into the flow tcp stream okay where it will give us this uh, byte codes unicode whatever it is okay so i'll go into my packet tracer okay i select uh, the tcp okay and then i right click the mouse okay and i go into the flow and in the flow i say tcp flow give me the tcp flow okay and here it is actually the tcp flow is given to me okay which is actually not understandable so instead of having the unique words what i can at least understand this uh, c arrays so the c arrays are a bit readable okay so you can have uh, this is uh, any of the codes okay ascii codes okay you can apply them so this is actually what this uh, ppt is trying to tell us so you can have the filter out stream you click it so you will get that this filter out so we just clicked and we got this filter out stream okay so the what else we have we have uh, this filter okay in this filter what we can do we can just uh, do filtering from our uh, packet tracer okay this here you can see we have given the uh, filtering here and here is the number of the packets given to us so if i went to just select any peep, a packet from here and i just first started because i need more data so we can use this option and in this option actually and come next and then we can use the telephony in the telephony we can go into the r okay uh, rtp and then we can have the stream analysis okay in the stream analysis we can see the different bytes being transferred so i'm not having telephone analysis so in my computer so let's see what this play is going to give us 
if I go into telephony and I go to RIP and I say still there's no streaming going out, okay, I say okay, guys, give me. So there's nothing going in my computer, okay. If there is a telephonic conversation going, I could have uh, seen it, okay. So this is actually lost data port number. I'm getting nothing here, okay. So there's no telephony going on my computer. I just close it and I just go into IPPT. If you are having this, this um, telephony, you will get the stream analysis appearing. So you can see actually what this uh, is, how many uh, means data is being, bandwidth is being used. So you can do uh, another analysis of the uh, means uh, your protocol capture. You can use this uh, equations, okay, like you can use the TCP IP address is equal to this. You need only interested in IP addresses which are equal to this. So you can just try go into your packet analyzer okay, analysis. So you can write it here. If you say if IP address is equal to this one, okay, just give me the address where the IP address is equal to 192. So I don't think so. Is there something? So I can use IP address of my computer that is 192.168.1.32. Okay, so it can give me the IP addresses. Uh, if I know the IP address of my computer, if I know the IP address of any destination, okay, so I'm just going to check this destination IP address, okay. So you can give any of the IP address you want to, okay. So this is how you can use this filter, okay. You can give the IP address, or you can use uh, the IP address, or suppose I say HTTP. HTTP and dot okay request okay dot request okay and then I can use method okay is equal to okay get gate okay so it's equal to two signs once it is pink okay you can understand it's uh, not acceptable okay so now I can try this one or it's green it's acceptable so here is my http request i given it so it says me you are using the http protocol here and i can go into this protocol and analyze it more what http i'm using this is the gate request okay the gate request command is there okay so you can use these analysis you can use equal to you can use greater than less than okay you can use all expressions okay so uh, what i used is here you can just use any of the expression you want to find so if you click this one the all expressions will appear okay you want only tcp protocol data you will receive only tcp and if you want to have only udp data you can use only dns okay whatever i selected is it fine so this is how we can use this expression so i have also already used this filter okay so give ip address host ip address okay you can have the destination ip address Okay, source IP address, destiny, whoever you are interested in, you can use the DNS from there. Okay, so in this uh, saving and manipulate, means, uh, manipulating captures, so you can save it, okay, as, okay, and then you can select any of the packets you want to save it as, you want to uh, have the extension of this one. So you can use any of this. Uh, if I just go here and I say save, okay, and I have to stop it, okay. And then I say save as okay. So here I can use any of the extension I want to give into the Wireshark. Okay, so I can do that. And then you can export it. Okay, you can also export it. So you can just click it here and then say export. Okay, export as okay packet specifier. Export as in direct stream. Whatever you want to export. Okay, so there are different export given to you a new option. And here actually it comes you know, manipulating your manipulating it's the output exported report okay you can have the jpg you can have the pdu you can have all type of export reports coming and then you have this uh, protocol hierarchical statics okay if i go into my protocol okay into this one if i go into the statics and if i see in here say so the protocol hierarchical statics so it tells us all hierarchical so first we have the frame then we have the uh, Ethernet okay then we have this uh, uh, IP version 6 and then we have the IP version 4 
so here we see here we have the frame we have the protocol and then we have all those okay so next we can do is that we can just uh, have the conversation okay check the conversation going on which interface okay so i go into the int is, is tell you uh, here my statics i say conversation okay and i can see in this conversation what conversation is going with with how many ip address bytes are going ip address version 4 and how many ip address version 6 how many tcp connections are there okay data are sent and how many udp so you can have all these conversation uh, what is actually happening with the interface you have selected okay and uh, you can see all this uh, it means who is sending to whom okay so a is sending b is sending all information as we have done already here and uh, uh, conversation so you can see uh, here okay who is sending to whom so you can have the I mean, different type of limits are display okay here so i just go and just make it if i'm not interested in anything i can just i'm interested on in whatever data i can print all all those data okay let me go in my presentation so we were here after that we can have the static analysis of our io flow i mean uh, graph if i go into my wireshark and i say io statics and give me the io graph so i may have io graph and it tells me only do i need all packets do i need the errors or do i need the so this all is checked okay so this graph is going on if i just uh, go and zoom this graph okay this is how my graph is looking okay i'm not using much net so this uh, my ppt is using this one fine so you can have this uh, io graph example you go into your status statics and then you go into the io graph okay and then you can see your io graph coming this is uh, this is my io graph okay so you can even go in the statics okay and then you can in the graph okay in the graph you can use any of the coloring of the graph you can set x axis y axis according to your own need okay and nothing more important than that and then you can see the statics okay in the statics you can go in the tcp graph okay and then you can find the round trip time of the graph okay throughput of the graph so i'll just go into my i think my wire shark is closed due to some problem okay so while i'm here while i'm on my presentation i should start my wire shark so Let it okay. I was here, I was in the statics and I was going into the TCP stream graph. Okay, so here I am. I may just stop it and I go into the statics and I'll go TCP graph. Okay, and here if I have to select TCP, I select TCP and I go into the graph and I have the TCP. So I can set this throughput time in. Okay, what is the throughput? What is the round trip time? Okay, so if I just see the throughput, it will give me the throughput. What is the throughput? It's exactly a state. Okay. And I see, give me the uh, the round trip time. How much time is taking? It's taking me the round trip time is appearing here. So you can use any of this uh, analysis, okay, for the TCP with the statics analysis, okay. So you can use the uh, sequence time, okay. Still the same. All right. I hope it is clear so you can play with it you can use uh, actually in my computer i'm not using that browsing now so you can do lots of browsing in your computer open different sites open gaming site and then you can see you can see the different graphs are appearing for you and here actually we have uh, uh, io graph in io graph we can uh, see the rtt versus a sequence around a prime okay versus the sequence number of the time that takes an acknowledgement so these are actually the packets okay these you can see these are our packets okay all appearing here in case of the variation you can cause the duplicate analysis if there is some problem the duplicate packets are appearing 
then there could be a retransmission okay usually it happens in a communication line so it happens in the over the internet or you can have more in cellular network okay so this is actually our round trip time and this is our the sequence okay i'll just go in the next slide so you can see here the graph is going good okay so this is sequence time is fine okay says here in this connection just like an example linear uh, is going up the angle of the I means uh, linear indicates the speed connection example is the fast connection so connection is very good connection is very fast so this is a linear time example but here actually we see it's actually uh, showing us uh, the data actually is not that linear so in this case we can see the non-linear contiguous uh, continu uh, contiguous graph okay so it's not continuous graph it's contiguous okay it's it's uh, just I means uh, if it is continuous graph the data is being lost somewhere okay it says several packet loss so you can see the packets are being lost in these graphs okay so this is our uh, statistical time sequences and then uh, uh, we can go for the coloring so we can select any of the packet okay we said select you want to specific protocol at the capture file so you can colorize it you can allow the analysis so if i go into my wireshark and i just take this okay and i just go into here okay in the colorizing so i can just go into the colorizing conversation and then i say tcp okay so just click it here okay and i go into the color conversation okay so i just click it here okay i will go into any of this one this is uh, ignore conversion time sequence okay so i can use the color conversation of the tcp or udp so i can give any of the color okay the tcp so it's, it's giving me so I, TCP, because all tcp is being used so i can uh, rip is different so you can see rip is different so rip i can go and go in the conversation and i can give rip a different uh, color so rip is giving different color so tcl if i go into the tcl okay in conversation and tcl i can give another color okay fine so this is how you can give color to your protocol you want to so this is how it will look like different protocols are different color okay so you can you are interested in any packet any protocol any color you can see the different colors are appearing according to that thank you very much i hope it is clear so inshallah uh, see you next time i hope i wish you best of luck okay assalamu alaikum